his tendencies and their strengths. So now it comes down to his guys really digging deep and executing on the floor. Kevin. Thank you very much, AJ. Dan, this has to be one of the hardest turnarounds for any tournament team to come back less than 24 hours in play. You take a look at Ashworth. He is the sharpshooter. We'll be watching him all afternoon. And some terrific players. A lot of length with the Aztecs. And as you said earlier, defense is their calling card. And San Diego State as you ends with the first four in Dayton. And the officials are just like the teams. They want to go to the NCAA tournament and they want to advance in the NCAA tournament. So big, big stage for them as well. So here we go, Utah State the three seed, San Diego State the one seed, and the Aztecs will get it, they are in white. Both teams man-to-man -man defense. Bradley takes it inside, he works in there on Bearstow, claimed by Mensa, scoops it up for a nice dunk. It's put in by Keisha Johnson. San Diego State with some pressure after the basket, and the Aztecs are an outstanding offensive rebounding team. Utah State cannot give up very many second chance opportunities. Hands off, they got Dorius. He's the seven foot one graduate student. Ashworth, and he gets it over to Shuga. Shuga is from Kiev, Ukraine. Inside, pick and roll, off the glass, and down for two. Trevin Dorius puts it up in, and he only averages six a game, but heard from early. And he got surprised by that pass and actually made a pretty nice catch. Sometimes he doesn't catch it really well on the inside. Moving in, Trammell, and now on top for Johnson. Butler, Johnson, with the push inside by the defense of Dorius. And now, Taylor Funk. Played his uh, previous four years at St. Joe's. This defense will just really get after you. Pressure the ball. Sneaking it inside, and again they go for the big man. He goes up against Mensa. He can't get it that time. Doria stands on a couple right on the doorstep. And here come the Aztecs the other way. Butler, pickpocketed. The other way comes Ashworth. And now Funk, he'll launch a three. <laughs> And it's Mensa inside. A great shot blocker, good rebounder. And the other way come the Aztecs, who were 15 and 3 in the Mountain West. Winning the regular season title. Lamont Butler. Two minutes gone here in the first half. Inside, can't get it defended, but then they put it back up and in with Matt Bradley, his first two. He is a first team all conference selection. And Ryan Odom really upset with his team. They've played pretty good defense right up until the point where they have to get the ball, and they haven't been able to get defensive rebounds. Both San Diego State baskets have come on offensive rebounds. Aggies finished number three, actually tied for second place in the Mountain West at 13 and 5. But they come in as the three seed. And a three seed has only won this championship once in its history. With a miss by Schwicker. And put back up and in. And now Dorius has four points. Like we said, he only averages six a game. It's a great start for Dorius. And remember, he's going up against Mensa, who's the defensive player of the year in this conference two years running. Lamont Butler and Bradley, who played at Cal, out to Butler, launching a three. And a rebound claimed by Taylor Funk. He's at 6'8", a senior from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. There's still the Australian. Drives on Bradley. Wow. He put his chest into Bradley. Bradley's a big, strong guy. And so he created some space for Bradley, but he was also able to get it up over Mensa. Aztecs overall, number 20 in the latest polls in all of college basketball, 26 and 6. Bradley from 15. Rebound by Bristow. You see, Utah State would really like to push it to try to get down the court before San Diego State can get set. Here's Ashworth. And Tremel has not given him any room at all. All night away, shot clock at 18. We have a couple substitutions now coming in. Ladee will come in for San Diego State. As you watch this nice basket moments ago by Bearstow, even on drop balance, he got it to go. Well, he did get it to go off balance, and Bearstow has really good size. He's six feet eight. He's stronger than he looks. He, he doesn't look like 
He spends as much time in the weight room as these San Diego State guys, but he's got some strength about him. A rope has also come in now for the Aztecs in white. Funk is swirling. Shot clock at three. Rebound is a rope inside. He is a senior from Omaha. Trammell and a rope. They go down low. Ladine, who just came off the bench, stripped of the ball. Shot clock at 21. A little more than four minutes gone in the championship game. The big man for the Aggies has scored a couple times. In They're in, but they're among the last four in. San Diego State comfortably in, but Utah State, look at that net ranking. 18. Kevin, Jerry knows what he's doing. I don't, but Utah State has to be in the tournament. If the NCAA doesn't put him in their tournament, then that damages the credibility of their own rating, which is the net. A rope was in there trying to fight. Out of bounds, it goes off the Aztecs with a look at Ryan Odom. He was a Division II point guard. That last name rings a bell. His dad, Dave, a longtime coach in college. He's watching today, Dave is. Back home, here is a long two. Shugel can't get it. Nice rebound inside by Ekin. Danny Atkin was going up and a foul called as he was jousting for that rebound. Trammell will pick up his first personal foul for San Diego State. Interestingly, Utah State is not a great offensive rebounding team, but now they've scored two points already on second chance points, and now they get an opportunity to do more. San Diego State, an outstanding defensive rebounding team, has to do a better job blocking out. So here is Daniel Akin. He is the six-man award winner. He is from England, a grad student. Four years he played for Coach Ryan Odom at UMBC. And then last season at California Baptists. And now he is here in his grad year with the Aggies from Logan, Utah. Roma just over 27,000. Three-point Utah State lead. Bradley begins to work. A rope is down low. Funk will defend. Funk has got the ball. He gets it back out to Bearstow. Ahead, looking for Atkin and out of bounds. It goes. It will be Utah State's ball. That was some aggressive pass right there. I think that was Trammell who did a really nice job getting back and saving an easy basket. Utah State left here about midnight last night after beating Boise by 10. Long shot won't go that time, Ashworth. One of the best three-point shooters in college basketball. But so far, every mm -hmm. one of the three-point attempts has been contested. Good point. Trammell working down low. This is over Ashworth. I show by Durian Trammell. Averages 10. He played at Seattle University, a transfer. He played in the WAC. And in the WAC, he was number one in that conference in assists and number one in steals. He's very good with mm -hmm. that pull-up jump shot. Excellent player in the mid-range. Ashworth, a lot of congestion inside. Leap and rebound by Micah Parrish. And again, heavy pressure. Trammell will penetrate inside into Funk. Out of bounds and 22 on the clock. Aztecs beat San Jose State last night, Dan, in the semifinal by 15 points to get here. This is really a great job by Trammell getting past the initial line of defense, but Funk comes over, does a really nice job to disrupt that shot without fouling. RJ, Idle Rock has come in. Sugar will take a breather. If a spin move down low and off the glass, but off that time, Parrish can't get it. It's retrieved by Bearstow. The other way, Funk, Ashworth. Bearstow, the fake and the drive inside goes in on Trammell. Who picked up the foul? What we're seeing so far is San Diego State has been able to get the ball inside. But even though the shots are close, they haven't been easy shots. The Utah easy shots, the Utah State defense doing an excellent job making those short shots tough shots. Trammell picks up his second. Sean Bearstow, a 56% free throw shooter, is at the line. The great athletes from historically black colleges and universities will be on display at the HBCU All-Star Game. It's coming up Sunday, April 2nd, right here on CBS. From Brisbane, Australia. Well, 56% is a pretty representative 
Mark, he's a good shooter. Well, it's except fun, at the line. Right, it's funny that he doesn't shoot free throws very well because he shoots almost 42% from beyond the arc. Adam Zico is now in. Parrish. And there it goes to Ladee. Ladee is a transfer from Ohio State and TCU. With the ball here is Parrish. He comes in from Oakland University. A rope. Butler. Seiko. A little runner off that baseline. Defended on the play by Ashworth. Polly balled around. Retrieved by the Aztecs. Seiko. Back on top. Parrish. Oh, nice pass. And he finds Woody inside for two. Again, San Diego State really working hard on getting the ball close to the basket. Full court pressure. Seven consecutive wins for the team in black, Utah State. They've won those games, those seven straight games, by an average of 13 points a game. Bearstone, walking two. Missed it all. Even when you're open, you can feel that defensive pressure. You know somebody's coming, and Bearstow just rushed that one a little bit. A lot of traffic inside for Butler. They got it off to Ladee, and he was shoved in a congested paint. With a whistle and a foul. A little more than seven minutes into the first half. Akin picks up his first personal foul. San Diego State taking the ball into the lane. Not a nice lob pass by Parrish that time, but here again they get into the lane and it makes an e for an easy opportunity with Ladee in the middle of the defense. So Ladee at the line, and as I said, he spent a year at Ohio State, then two years at TCU. He is a senior from Houston, a 77% free throw shooter, and here he stands. He averages eight points a game for the Aztecs, who have won three in a row, and San Diego State has won nine of ten. And he's one of the guys who comes off the bench. They bring four guys off the bench, all of whom can guard, which you have to do to play for San Diego State, but all of whom can score. They get a lot of production from their bench. Semifinals last night against San Jose. Don't have two points. Again, we're going to see some full court here. Last hit three by three. Utah State has led by three with a couple ties and a couple lead changes. She'll go back in with the ball. Looking to feed up and in. He puts it through Matt Shoga. Honorable mention conference player, his first basket today. That was really clever. He didn't decide to shoot that until the last second. He was looking to pass it. Got to keep him out of the lane. Parrish. Knocked away. Nice defense by Utah State. And picked up inside by Akin. The other way for Ashworth. Again, one of the great three-point shooters. And we'll see it before this one is over for sure. Idle Rock, and then they go outside. That's a shot which will go down. And fuck! It's the triple. He is shooting, Dan, from three-point territory, 39%. He's a really good three-point shooter, and you're not going to go out there and block the three-point shot. And that's what Brian Dutch is upset about, that they're trying to jump up and block it. Keep your feet, put your hand up in the air. Ladee puts it up and through, and that was under Barakin. That's the kind of offense he can bring in. He's very athletic, very strong, runs very well, but he can make that jump shot. Shulga with it. Back in the screen. Pick and roll. Akin got it. He's got three. And he, again, he's the guy who comes off the bench. You said he was the sixth man of the year in this conference. He is instant offense. He provides a different sort of skill set than Dorius. It's Zico. And Butler, known for his defense, slips it inside. A rope, getting it out. Pirish, triple. Rebound, Ladee, climbing the ladder. Inside, and a foul called as he was trying to work against some pretty heavy pressure with 10.57 to go in the first. Ashworth picks up his first. And Ryan Odom told us that he thinks his team has to get, has to limit San Diego State to no more than 30% of their own misses. If San Diego State gets more than 30% of their own misses, Ryan Odom told us he thought they'd have a hard time winning the game. But D is at the line with the look right there at Ryan Odom. But D 
had a double-double in an early February game for San Diego State against Utah State with 14 points and 10 rebounds. Madee has the last seven points. He's come off the bench for the Aztecs. In white. Oh, boy, they're scrappy, aren't they? Diving on the floor. Nice effort there by Butler again. One of the top defenders in this conference. How about that for a spark off the bench? This guy gets seven points. And this is just a situation where Shulga doesn't protect the ball. Most of the time, a guy who's reaching across the dribbler's body is going to get called for a foul. Aggies with the ball, third oldest roster in college basketball. They average 22 years of age. They're one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country, and they've only made one so far. Funk, great pass inside entry. Ashworth couldn't convert. I think the ball slipped out of his hands. I think it did too, Dan, you're right. And he might have been waiting for shot blockers to come. He's used to shooting three. Seiko, pick pocket to Ashworth. Racing the other way, Butler will try to converge. Down they go. Oh boy, they really had a collision. That has was right back up though. Complicated. It moves so fast. There's a lot of intensity certainly at the college level. And man, are there some physical plays that need guys like him to translate for us. And he does so well. We thank Gene and Ashworth is at the line. He is a great free throw shooter. One of the best in college basketball. Top 20 in the nation is Stephen Ashworth at almost 90% from the strike. Bradley is there. Idle Rock was defending and they go down low. Johnson. Funk is defending. A leaping rebound. Atkin lost it. And they go in once again to Ladee. As Johnson was in there fighting for it too with about 10 minutes gone in this first half of the championship game of the Mountain West. And once again, we see San Diego State from point blank range, not able to grab it. Ladee tips it, Akin gets it, but he actually trips over his own teammate. Utah State had a great opportunity to get that rebound, just couldn't snare it. Ashworth has just picked up his second personal foul. They bring Bearstow back in. Ashworth played extensively in the second half yesterday. He did. With three personal fouls. He picked up three in the first half. Bradley. Now Trammell. Long shot. Nice rebound inside by Johnson. Another offensive rebound. Three. Bradley now. Ekin with the leaping board. And it's off to Bearstone. Aggies are one of... 15 teams with five players who average double figures at Division One. They can be as explosive as any team in college basketball. They've also got a lot of guys who can handle the ball. Yes. Funk. Shot clock at four. Iowa Rock from London will go inside. Oh, boy! It's a 12-3 run by Utah State. And they've gone 5 of 6 since they began, 3 of 12. Bradley right through the defense. And when you're struggling, that's where you want to go. Your best guy, particularly a guy like that, who can get the ball to the basket. Bradley's got 4. Shulga. Good feed. Acting on the doorstep. That Shulga ask in combination off the screen and roll. That's what Brian Dutcher was talking about when he spoke with AJ. San Diego State has just had no answer for that. Bradley will dance on Idle Rock. Waddell, a fake entry. To the Aztecs, who have been the number one seed three of the past four seasons, including this are down by six here in the first half. And we talk about the guys for Utah State who can handle the ball while Ida Rock can get to the basket. And I don't think anybody gets to the basket better than Bradley in the Mountain West. But well, Idle Rock, big, yeah. strong kid. He is big, isn't he? Idle Rock played his college ball at UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Second season with the Aggies. 
6 4, 225. That's good size it is. for a guard. Shulga. Sean Bearstow. A power to Tom Torius. He's got six, equaling when he scores a game. And the Yankees have their biggest lead this afternoon. Just 10 points, 18 to 8. The Yankees have outscored San Diego State in the lane. We've been talking about the fact that San Diego State has been able to get into the lane, but Brian Dutcher's guys haven't been able to score in there. Utah State playing really good defense once the ball gets into the lane, and the screen and rolls by Utah State have really been productive for them here early. They're going up on top. Always deflected, retrieved by Parrish. Mensa back in. Bradley's got the ball. Hamoda will defend him. Bradley a two-pointer. And Sugar's got it. And they're not trying to be a racehorse, but they want to push the ball up and get initiate the offense as early as possible so that defense can't get set. Mensa's on Sugar. They mention this, the defensive player of the year, Mensa. Alders that shot, but retrieved on an offensive rebound. There's Stowe. He'll get the screen, he'll get the switch, and he'll feed. Funk. Dorius. Wide open. I'm on a three. He is the first player in Division I from Bahrain. And he had a wide open shot. I think that's the most wide open anybody has been in this game. Just great ball movement. Outside Bradley. He'll fire a three. It's a funk rebound. Six and a half to play in the half. Shogo will make the drive into Mensa. Hamoto the fake. He'll fire. Mensa with the rebound. That Bear still passed one up, and Hamoda passed one up too. San Diego State plays a lot of players. Brian Dutcher, their coach, says it's the deepest team we've had here. At the line, 15-footer pure. Micah Parrish. Again, he's another one of those guys who comes off the bench who can really score. He played in the Horizon League for Oakland U, and he was a defensive player. Nice shot right there. In the past couple games, Parrish has been struggling with his shot. Four of 17 in the quarters and semis combined. That was a good sign to see him hit right there for the Aztecs. Inside, Bearstone. Outside, Shulga. Defended by Butler. Now, Mensa. Rebound by Johnson. Mensa's really good when he switches mm. those screens. Johnson, Euro step inside and can't get it to drop. Out. It'll be the Aggies ball. And we're talking about the ball movement here in the corner. That's a Moda. And you watch everybody's eyes are looking this way. Nobody's paying any attention at all to Hamoda. Bradley is the guy who's guarding him. He goes to cover up on Dorius. And that's just a great pass by the big guy to know where his teammate was. Utah State in black with the ball has a NCAA net ranking. Net ranking of number 18. The Aztecs number 15. It is... Uh, Almost for sure these two teams are in the winner here, of course, automatic bid getting in. But this conference is hoping four teams, Boise State included, and they're hoping Nevada will get in with a pretty good net themselves. Well, no question. Nevada's had an outstanding season. They're a team that has lost a couple of games down the stretch here. And so they're going to be sweating it out tomorrow. Ashworth is playing with two fouls. He's on the wing with it right now. Bearstow down low. Collision. Mensa hits the deck in a whistle. It will be on Mensa. We're just talking about how well Mensa moves his right. feet. And Brian Dutcher is very upset with that call. Mensa, you have to get initial guarding position, which is you got to be facing the dribbler with both feet on the floor, and he never really got there. But, but again, that's a bang-bang call, and you can see why Brian Dutcher would be upset about it. 
There's Stowe will be at the line. He is the youngest of seven. He had a sister who played some college basketball at Utah State. He had a brother who played college basketball at New Mexico. And the other thing that Brock Dutcher was upset about is he doesn't think that should have been a shooting foul. Aggies get it right there. Aggies from the line are three of seven. Aztecs three of four. Under five to go in the first half. Title game, Mountain West. Bradley has it. And the Aztecs simply haven't been able to put the ball in the basket. They've been fine defensively. It's a shove as Lamont Butler was beginning to accelerate. Even though Brian Dutcher is concerned about the ball screens. Drive into the basket. There's the contact. And the whole thing is the officials decided he was in his shooting motion. If you're in your shooting motion, then it's a shooting foul. And that is a very close play. And you can see where Brian Dutcher, who's not the most objective observer out there when it comes to San Diego State, might disagree with that. Ashworth, who is a first-team all-conference selection, has just picked up his third personal foul. Probably now on the bench for the final four and a half of this first half. In Vegas, Mensa to Butler. Idle Rock is on him. A rope is down low. Got it! Leaning into him in there was Sean Bairstow. Boy, and they continue to force the ball inside, driving it into the lane, dumping it off. That's a really nice pass. A rope works so hard in there for position. A crook, a rope. They gave that little pump fake, got Bear still up in the air, and once you get up in the air down there, there's not a lot you can do defensively. Dan, we talk about San Diego State a lot. They're always in this championship game, it seems, since the start of 2019-20, since the start of that season, so the past four years, the Aztecs had the third best record in college basketball. Gonzaga, number one, then Houston, then Brian Dutcher's San Diego State team. They're over Kansas and Baylor, rounding out the top five over the last four years. Pretty good company. Okay, they have just changed Ashworth's second foul. It goes to Akin. So Ashworth only has two. That is a big story. They just changed it moments ago. They're still inside. Torius! It's picked up. Bradley had it. Knocked away by Funk. They're on the floor. They're playing Twister. They want a timeout. And they got it. Who got it? San Diego State. Okay. The kind of intensity that March always brings. Gloria Navarez, you know, she's worried about her, you know, particularly the Wolfpack of Nevada. They're one of the ones that people are talking about maybe in, maybe out. And so they want all the definites to Gloria Navarez and Nevada. They want the definites in the tournament. They don't want any of these bid thieves in there. She now replaces the retired Craig Thompson who served this conference well and college sports so well. Nice dive inside. It's Ramon Butler slashing for his first two today. And San Diego Strait has really struggled offensively. They're shooting only 30%. They haven't made a three, and yet they're still within five points. Their defense is keeping them in the game. Utah State, six assists, only one turnover so far. They're really ramping up the pressure here. Idle Rock held it. Bradley was on him. Timeout taken by Utah State in black. And we step aside. basketball plus preview tomorrow's a10 and big 10 championship games coming up on at&t at the half and of course this is what jerry says san diego state and boise state comfortably in utah state and nevada among the last four in and that is an uncomfortable position shulga will take it inside uh, it's out of bounds the aggies have got it and Kevin, of course, we're talking about bids and bubbles and everything. If Utah State, well, whoever wins this game, Utah State is yes. it's an automatic bid. So if Utah State wins, they don't have to worry about anything. Idle Rod got it. Shoga in the corner. In the Butler with all his defensive tools, but a quick foul there called on Butler, number two on him. 
Well, actually, Idle Rock created that play. The really quick pass to an open shoulder forced Butler to get out there a little quicker than Butler wanted to to defend the three, and that allowed Shulga the opportunity to go by and draw the foul. Trammell will come back in. Shulga. Played on youth national teams for Ukraine. Shulga has been very quiet. Working here on the rock. Shulga, the bump, the fake. Shot clock at four. Funk. Oh, a rope! A rope! Got on a rope! Swaps it away! Bradley. Trammell into Shulga with a spinner. Mensa rechecked it inside by Torius. Kevin Mensa was working for that offensive rebound even before the ball got beyond the top of the key. He was getting got great position inside. And that's why he gets that rebound and Dorius with the attempted at block. And it's interesting, when Mensa's in the game, Dorius is in the game. If Dorius goes out of the game, then Ladie comes in the game. Dorius picks up his first personal foul. Mensa at the strike. He gets this extra year of eligibility due to COVID in the year that the NCAA granted. A lot of players all over the country getting the benefit of that in what was felt to be a lost year. Trammell will check out. They bring back in Seiko, who is the winningest player in conference history. He's another player that took advantage of the COVID eligibility offered by the NCAA. And I think that has really made college basketball better. You have so many veteran guys who are sticking around. San Diego State is on a 6 nothing run to within four. They've trailed by as many as 11 to Utah State with the ball right now. Idle Rock, Mensa there. Boy, Dorius has a mismatch against Bradley inside. They can't see him. Mensa the foul. Idle Rock played that perfectly. Yeah, he sure did. But, I mean, Dorius is a little frustrated. He was alone. In, well, not alone. But he was open inside. And, again, you don't need to jump on trying to block a three-point shot. Just get in good position. Get your hand up. Pressure the shot. Of course, this guy's a shot blocker, and so that's what they do. They yep. block shots. One of the best in the history of the program, one of the best in college basketball. Three shots coming up for Idle Rock. So the Aggies in black for Utah State played in the conference championship game here. Three of the last four years. They get another try. You know, they have struggled from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. eight. CBS Sports proudly celebrates Women's History Month, recognizing the outstanding contribution of women and girls and all the things they have done and made on and off the field of play. You included your wife there. Had a career in college basketball, right? Uh, she was just among a group of women honored at the University of Virginia for being the, a part of the 50th anniversary of the first intercollegiate sports teams for women How nice. at Virginia. Congratulations to her and all the women out there that do such an incredible job. Look at the trade right here by Paris. Took it into Dorius. And Idle Rock is going over and telling Dorius, and he's absolutely correct. Just keep your hands up. Dorius picked up that foul because he jumped up in the air. His position was fine. And watch here. He's going to bring those hands down. If he just leaves his hands up, he's fine. Sucking on him. Micah Parrish will be at the free throw line. In fact, if he leaves those hands up, that might be an offensive foul. For the Aztecs, with their Micah Parrish at the free throw line right now, a 77% free throw shooter. This is the sixth consecutive year for San Diego State coming to the championship game. Can you imagine that? Six straight years they've been in here. But they've only won two championships. They've been a runner-up three times. Eight of the last nine years they've been here. Coach Fisher had him here, and Brian Dutcher, who is a longtime assistant. Brian Dutcher, who is in his sixth year, has been an assistant 
and part of this program for parts of 24 seasons after he, of course, was with Steve Fisher up at the University of Michigan and part of the recruitment of a Fab Five. Weber and Jackson and that incredible group. So on Howard, here comes Idlerock. And we're closing in on 90 seconds to play in the first half of the championship of the Mountain West. Sugar with a head fake into Seiko. Scoops it up. Rebound Seiko. Again, he went in there looking to pass, I think, Kevin. So he didn't have enough room for him. Bradley fearlessly. Rebound inside is plucked by Ladini and a foul. It is so hard to maintain your rebounding position if you're a defender when you're having to go help out against guys driving into the lane. And again, we see that happen. Aztecs are used to getting in the NCAA tournament. They've been there nine times in the last 13 seasons. Two in a row. And now three in a row this year. They're number 20 in the rankings. Well, and Bradley, they just took Bradley out of the game, but it's a one and one opportunity, so he's got to go back in and shoot it. Or is Bradley not the shooter? Ladine will be the shooter. Would be the shooter. Okay, then Bradley doesn't have to come yeah, back in. The he game. doesn't. He can if he wants to, but he doesn't have to. And he wants a breather. Seven points and seven rebounds for Jaden Ladee, a senior from Houston, Texas. Last two years at TCU. Kevin, and you can see down low for Utah State, big number 12, Shimon Zapallo in the game. He's not a guy that plays a lot of minutes, has only played in 10 games all year, only played a total of 40 minutes all year, but because of foul trouble, he's got to come in and try to hold the fort. Wow. A rope got the miss. Seiko controls on top. Idle Rock will defend. That was some rebound. That was. And that's what they do well. Their offensive rebounding is off the chart. Seiko three. A rope the screen. A rope set the screen. Opens up the triple. And it's a one-point game in Vegas before halftime. And that's what Seiko does. His job is to come in the game, play defense, and make three. Utah State has not hit from the field in over six minutes. Idle Rock bulldozing. Rebound inside. Clean by Liddy. Seiko with it. Just we're not seeing the crisp ball movement that we saw earlier from Utah State, and that's because San Diego State continues to ramp up the defensive pressure. A roll. This is for the lead. Idle Rock taken away. Outside, this is for the lead. It's a miss right there by Parrish. Clutch down due by Shuga. Time to fire. Approaching 10 seconds to play in the half. A rope defense. Shuga, three. Rebound inside, claimed by Parrish and the Aztecs. Down by 11. San Diego State is clawed back to within one at halftime. Finishing the half, Dan. Get the ball into traffic, and they're able to prevent San Diego State from scoring. From scoring. Brian Dutcher told his guys at halftime, look, if we can just make layups, this game is over. But those are hotly contested layups. And I agree with them. If they can make them, they'd be much better. But that's tough to do. Almost half of San Diego State's points have been second chance points. 12 of the 27, 28 points. Here, Shulga. Funk. He's been kind of quiet. Just starting the second half. Ashworth inside. A nest of defenders kicks it out. Three, no. It's a miss right there by Bearstone. Now, two for ten as a team are the Aggies from beyond three-point range, and they cannot win this game unless they make some threes. With San Diego State working, let's swing it over to A.J. Ross. Well, guys, with that scoring run to end the half, Brian Dutcher told me he likes the way his team was starting to get down downhill and attacking the basket, but they have to finish. On defense, he said they were getting beat when they were hedging on screens, so to start switching, finding some success, look for them to keep switching and applying pressure in this second half, guys. Butler kicks it out. Trammell, three, no. Warriors has got the ball. Funk will get it up court now, taken by Ashworth. 
And again, we thought, he thought, the team thought he had three fouls, so he said, up high, Dorius, climbing the ladder on the alley-oop try, and they miss. He's got to catch that ball, Kevin, and come down and lay it in the basket. Neither team can hit. A miss outside right there by Trammell. San Diego State led early by three. They trailed by as many as 11. And that's what A.J. was talking about right there, Kevin. A switch on the screen. So they haven't had those screen and roll opportunities. Mensa defends Pierce. Oh, he blocked the ball. But a great pick up and Dorian's got it. And Funk lasered it in with a sweet assist. Boy, that ball went right. Ooh, I mean, it wow. bounced off the board about as hard as it can go. But it went right to Funk, who immediately fired it back. The ball goes off the board. It goes right out to Funk. And then <laughs> they're standing underneath the basket. And Funk finds him. Johnson. Butler. Schroeder will defend. A rope is in. A rope will try climbing into the defense of Ekin. A rope with five. Well, a rope's been their best guy, their best finisher inside. And again, that, that tells you that San Diego State's one of their strengths, the guys they can bring off the bench. Utah State by one. Sugar. Funk. It's a three. And put back up and off. Akin can't get it. Rebound by Butler. Boy, if, you, if you're Akin, you, you want that one back. That's one you have to have. Trammell. And he'll look for the lead. Johnson can't get that one to go. But again, they continue to get the ball inside, Kevin, but the San Diego State has a tough time converting. Utah State is shooting 32% from the field. There's a whistle, and there's a foul, and Trammell will pick it up. Much to the chagrin of Brian Dutcher, Trammell number three. But there was, a, there was contact there, and Ashworth went down. So with this contact, nice tip by Trammell, but with the contact right there, it may have been inadvertent, but it gave him an advantage, and the officials have to recognize that he was put at a disadvantage was Ashworth, so they called the foul. Funk three. Another miss. Nice aggressive rebound. Hustling inside. Bearstow. Shulga. Funk against Johnson. Chiseling. Setting. A rope with the rebound. San Diego State is shooting 29%. Utah State is shooting 31%. Utah State has missed 16 to 17. Three, no. Bradley, a rope, whistle, foul inside on the Aggies and on Akin. He's got three. That's three on Akin. We've been talking about the offensive rebounding for San Diego State and a rope. He's just so strong and so athletic inside. Does a great job getting position. All right, are these tired teams? Are these nerves? I, I don't think it's either one, Kevin. This is, these are two teams who are very, very familiar with one another. Each knows what the other's trying to do. They both play very, very hard, and this is for an awful, there's an awful lot at stake here. Bradley. For the lead. And they're first since early in the game. Utah State has to figure out a way to get Ashworth open for some shots. Hacking with the ball. Ainsworth three. He got it. Okay, maybe he doesn't need to be very open. Uh, that was not bad defense, but Ashworth knocked that one down. He's a top 10 three point shooter in all of college basketball. It's Bradley with the stutter step in the drive, and he's hit two in a row. And he played through some contact there. And yep. He missed a couple of those in the first half, but you expect him to get going here in the second. Here are the Aggies, 26 and 7 record. Tied for second in the regular season. Crossover Ashworth triple. Rebound collected inside Lamont Butler. 
Bradley on the wing meets the defense of Bearstow. It's a rope and funk. Backing, 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 spinning. And Shulga with the rebound. Shulga's another guy who's a good scorer who just hasn't scored today. Back in the screen, poking it away, a rope. The long reach of the Aztecs. Under 15 to go. Couple threes, back to back, fun to watch. What well, is fun to watch here? We haven't seen very no. many. in the American, getting beaten badly right now, we understand. And UAB against FAU in Conference USA. These are teams not expected to make it, but if they win, they get the automatic That's bid right. and thus take a bid from maybe a, another team more deserving or a better overall season than them. Well, when we talk about who's in and who's out, we're generally talking about at-large bids, but if you win your conference championship, you're in. Shulga with the miss three. Shulga is now one for nine. Amazing. And 0, 0 for four from beyond the arc. In fact, the three top offensive players for the Aggies, Shulga, Ashworth, and Funk, are now four for 21, three for 13 from three. The drive inside is good by Butler. Bursting in there, he's got four. Utah State is a team that puts offensive pressure on you. They've been playing very well defensively, but they have to start putting the ball in the basket. San Diego State by three. Ashworth throws it away. Picked up by Butler, numbers the other way. From behind, he hits the uh, following teammate right there, Parrish. Butler again, the collision, and the ball's out of bounds, and a foul on the play, and that is going to go on Lamont Butler. Number three. Butler trying to make something happen here in Bearstow, a very good defensive player. Butler, had he continued to his left, he's around Bearstow, but he tries to put the ball back in his right hand. Not only loses the ball, but puts his shoulder right into Bearstow's chest. And we've seen so far this entire season, that's an automatic. By the way, the Mountain West is number five in net ranking as a conference. It's the Big 12, the Big 10, the SEC, the Big East, and then the Mountain West. And back of them, the Pac-12 and the ACC below the Mountain West. And that, there's an offensive foul. Going inside and throwing it right there was Bearstow. And he's, he's got picked, two. He picked up that foul because he threw that arm out there. He looks like he's got a lane to the basket, but when that left arm goes out there into the chest of his opponent, he pushes off. I mean, the official, they, he's got a perfect angle for that. And again, that's another automatic call. You throw that arm out there, you're going to get called for a charge. Bearstow will sit. Utah State. In the last 13 and a half minutes of game time, Dan, they've made just two shots from the floor. Trammell. It's a three. Senko partially deflected on the play. Partially deflected. I think Atkin was there and got a hand on it. But Shulga. Again, Utah State's defense continues to be solid. They just have to put the ball in the basket. They've improved so much defensively from the beginning of the year, have the Aggies. Approaching 13 to play in the second half of the championship game. Funk three. Ooh, across the chops. And that will be Hamoda knocking it away. And it'll be an inbound by San Diego State. Funk shoots almost 40% from beyond the arc. And now he's one for six out there. Just going for the ball. Yeah, they just got their arms Yeah, they up. sure did. If Gene Steratore was talking to us, he would call that a basketball play. We should get Gene on just to talk to him, even when there's no controversy. There's a shot. Parrish, no, foul. Akin is going to pick up the foul. He sure is. Akin is going to get it. And Akin picks up his fourth, and he is in trouble. And now words between the two teams. <laughs> And with Akin in foul trouble, you can see here he basically just gets tangled up with Ladee. But with Akin in foul trouble, then suddenly Utah State has, is going to have a very difficult time defending a more athletic lineup. Dorius comes in the game, but he's going to have his hands full trying to defend Ladee. Rope is in. Johnson leaves. There goes Akin. He's from London. Grand student from the United Kingdom. A rope and funk. Handoff. And this will go to Trammell. A rope aggressive. 
Wheels inside. Rebound by Dorius, the 7 1 center. He's got five rebounds. Utah State has missed 19 of 21 shots. Shulga. Funk with a three. Stepped out of bounds. He sure did. Yep. Stepped out of bounds. This is really amazing. His foot right there. Larry Spalding all over that. And of Good course, call. I mean, the defensive pressure has been so much you can understand him trying to get more space, but the court is only 50 feet wide. Utah State lost to the Aztecs twice this season. And San Diego by 10 and Logan by 2 with a whistle as they go in. And that's going to be against Funk, I think, reaching over the back. It, our, our rope continues to do a great job getting position in the lane area. Two fouls on Funk. You just have to wonder how long this Utah State defense can hold the fourth. Number one seed against the number three seed in the Mountain West. Parrish. A rope. Seiko, shot clock down to five. It's Ladee. Oh, he got him in a blender. What a move inside. Ladee, count it. Down goes Torius. Count the two. Basket is good. Drives to the basket, and we said this matchup is going to be a very tough matchup. Dorius simply cannot stay with Ladee if Ladee's able to drive the ball all the way from the free throw line. He's not quick enough, Dorius. San Diego State. Three-point play by Ladine. So he has 11. Now we've got a lot of time left in the game, but this becomes a very important possession for Utah State. They have to get something going offensively. There's a foul, and it's on Seiko on top. He's trying to stay with Matt Shulga. By the way, the kid that just hit those free throws, <laughs> that free throw, and got the three-point play for the Aztecs, he's the only player in double figures with 11 in this game. And we've got about 11 and a half to go in it. Oh, we've got hardly any points scored. No. <laughs> Shulga, a rope is there. Into a rope again, trying to jab at him and got it. And now he has four. That's an important basket for Shulga. That's his only his second basket of the game. Ladee from 16. Bullseye. He's going to have some room out there because Dorius is afraid if he gets too close to him, Ladee is going to drive by. Ashworth with it. Six points. Makes a move. Tramel defending on the floor with the rope. They all are grabbing the ball on a tie-up. It will be San Diego State's ball. Ashworth is not a guy who is going to create his own shot off the dribble in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And he loses the ball there trying to do it. Great hustle by a rope. Ashworth is the kind of a guy, we talked about him before the game, he's constantly moving without the ball. But San Diego State has done a great job chasing him. He simply cannot get open with that off-the-ball movement. Not big numbers for a rope. He's done a wonderful job this afternoon. With his defense, tenacity, he has scored. Inside, here they go, Ladeen. And he's beginning to heat up with 15 points. And the lead for San Diego State is eight. It's their biggest this afternoon. Inside, Torius. They'll flush it. He's got ten. He that's averages a, six. That's the first time in a while we've seen that screen and roll work. So Dor now, recognizing that Dorius can't guard Ladee, Utah State drops back into his zone. Bradley inside. Deflected by Funk. Picked up by Ashworth. Racing the other way. Got the screen. He'll survey and Funk will drive with a floater on the front. Again, they get a turnover and they push the ball up. The more you can play against the San Diego defense that's a little bit disorganized, the better, you are, better off you are. 
Trammell, Ladi, free to fire. Dory is the rebound. He's got six boards and ten points. He hadn't scored in the quarterfinals or semifinals of this tournament, and he's put in ten today in the championship game. Ashworth. Shulga into Trammell. Hard shot. Taken by Shulga. San Diego State, they just scramble around. You can't get an open look. Knocked away with the leaping knock that time by Johnson. Shot clock at seven. A foul is called on the perimeter as Shulga was moving. It will go on Trammell. He has got four for San Diego State. That switch to the zone defense has really helped Utah State. They've been able to generate a couple of turnovers, get the ball up the court, and they finally scored on the offensive end. They've scored on two consecutive possessions. So even as poorly as they have played offensively, they're still within four points. Parrish comes in for Seiko for the Aztecs. Green Dorius, three, Ashworth. Short, just does not have the stroke today. Rebound by Butler. Parrish, he'll take fire from three. Leaping rebound inside is taken by Bearstow. Ashworth, Bearstow, Idle Rock, a fake and a drive. With 8.37 to go in the second half. Kevin, lots of times we talk about contested plays, contested shots, contested drives. Like tech, every single thing in this game has been contested by both teams. Every pass, every shot, every drive. And so comes back in. A rush now for Ladee. Parrish just picked up his first personal foul. Oh, cutting. Good feed. Idle Rock hit the cutting bear stone. Foul, San Diego State. And that's not a bad foul by San Diego State. A very good offensive out-of-bounds play. Bearstow just in the corner, comes straight to the ball. But again, Bearstow, he's only a 56% free throw shooter. Foul will go on Parrish for the second time. Bearstow at the strike. CBS tomorrow, don't miss a new episode of the hit show, East New York. Starring Amanda Warren, Jimmy Smith, and Richard Kine. A new East New York returns tomorrow after a new equalizer with Queen Latifah on CBS. A three seed the Aggies against the one seed today. And Dan, a three seed in this Mountain West tournament, has only won a championship game one time. Utah State on a six to nothing run. Staying in the zone are the Aggies. Inside and hard. Johnson skies. He jumped over everybody, including a seven-footer. Wow. That's one way to beat the zone. Keyshawn Johnson, two-year starter. Ashworth was free. Approaching eight to play in the second half. Idle Rock. Little crossover here. He's working on the defense of Paris. It's a rebound by Munson. He has got eight. Utah State's a team that emphasizes ball movement, and this San Diego State defense has turned them into one-on-one. -on -one. Parrish way off. Lytle Rock gathers in the loose ball. Seven and a half to go. There's Stowe. Dorius. Size advantage on Parrish. He's got 12. He's doubled what he averages a game. You heard Brian Dutcher tell AJ they were switching the screens. Well, that time, Utah State made him pay for the switch. He got a seven-footer against the 6'6 guy. Nice pass inside. Three, Bradley. Idle Rock was defending. It's an offensive rebound. Another one. Parrish has it. They'll reset. Seven to play. Parrish outside. Driving Butler. Kicks it out. It's a three. Is there by Paris. Controlled by the Aggies. Ashworth. Oh, my. Dorius knocked away the quick hands of Paris. 
And the ball ricochets out of bounds. Six and a half to go. Six consecutive years, San Diego State has advanced to the... <laughs> From San Diego State to actually he only has eight, but he's still closing in on a double-double. These Utah State kids play a lot of minutes. They don't have near the depth that San Diego State does. Sugar, they got a switch, and Menzo's on it. You have to take advantage of those switches. Shot clock at four. Sugar knocked away. Mensa may have gotten it away. It's a three. It's a three. And they're going to look. They're going to look. That was a funky shot. And right now, they'll see if it was a three or a two. In frame by frame, if they could look and see that. And again, this could be just a tip of a fingertip, right, that's still on that. Yep. That they had seen something there in that much detail to let them wave that off. So, you know, kudos to them for taking their time and getting it right. Thank you, Gene. We're always right going to you. They go inside here. Johnson got it. And he got tangled up with Bearstill. Kevin, but I cannot tell you what a big reversal that is. Huge. I, I, it's I mean, a one-point lead for them now. They're down by two. They're down by two, and they're again trying to stop San Diego State. Huge, Dan. You're right. As hard as points and threes have been together this afternoon, clearly every basket is huge. It's Bradley inside. And Bradley, you know, Bradley converts. That's an opportunity that's presented to San Diego State, and Bradley converts it. He has 11 points. Second player for the Aztecs to get in double figures. Under six to go in the championship game. The lead four for the Aztecs. Bunk again. Akin is there. Kicks it out. Bearstow. Akin. Bearstow passes up a shot. You don't need to pass up. Bearstow's got to squeeze that one off. He passed up a shot and threw it inside to Akin. He throws it in trouble. Akin, Akin is right underneath the basket. There's very little he can do, and he gets called for the traveling violation. How about Bearstow and Akin, the great sharpshooters, a combined 3 of 13 overall, 1 of 6 from 3. Ashworth is their leading scorer. Bearstow over 10 a game. It's a 3 sink. Oh, no. Akin up there, parachutes in, grabs his fifth rebound. Ashworth the other way, bursting, and he'll get a screen, and he'll fire. That's what we're talking about with Ashworth. He gives up the ball, he keeps running, he gets it back. He's really good off the dribble when he can wheel into the lane like that. That was a must-score opportunity for Utah State, and they got the basket. Seiko to Bradley. Back in that zone. Three. Seiko. Inside. Oh, that's, a, that's a great block out. Funk is the one in there. And Shulga the other way. With Seiko on him. Look in the screen. The switch on D with Mensa. Shulga. Three. Lincoln volleyballs it away. But picked up inside. Vacuumed in by Johnson. It's ahead to Bradley. Puts on the brakes, the stutter step, and they'll send up the offense. Matt Bradley, the drive, foul. It goes on the Aggies and goes on Ashworth, who took one in the gut. Mm. That is a very physical player, Bradley, going right into him, plowing his way. Well, it's a tough matchup for Ashworth on the inside. Bradley is so big and strong. And again, one. when you're evaluating that, you have to decide, did the defensive player establish legal guarding position, which is both feet on the floor, facing the dribble? Matt Bradley is the Cal transfer. He played three years at Cal. <laughs> Last year, he was the Mountain West Newcomer of the Year. This year, is a... First team all-conference selection, leading the Aztecs, the number one seed in scoring. In his career, he has scored over 2,200 points. Got it. Bradley. 
When once again, Utah State just can't grab the rebound. Bradley inside, foul on the circle. And that will go on Bearstow. Bearstow, number four. One and one again. Utah State finished tied for second in the conference regular season. Number three seed. They were a preseason number eight pick. So they really overcame things. There's a look at San Diego State. They were picked to win the conference in the regular season, and they did. And here down the stretch, Bradley's the guy who's taken over. He's a senior. The rope and funk have to be addressed, and they were. to go. Kevin, and I think it's worth a reminder to our viewers that each of these teams is playing its third game in three days. Utah State didn't get back to their hotel until after midnight last night. Both teams have played very hard. Both defenses have been very solid. But Utah State is more of a finesse shooting kind of team. And sometimes that quick turnaround affects them the most. It's the quickest turnaround in tournament basketball. Three Ashworth. See, he's just got no legs. No, none. Three. Right, Dan. That's usually a shot that he'll make. There's still low. Shulga high. Funk the screen. The switch with the rope on defense. Shot clock at five. Ashworth picked up by Trammell. He'll dive inside. Short again. The defense of the Aztecs there. Parrish grabs it. Trammell has it. And the cloud right now getting darker and darker over the Yankees. Trammell. Got to have a stop here. 17 footer. has missed 13 of their last 14. You mentioned the shooting of Ashworth, who's their number one score, first team all-conference, number three right there in black, and his legs just aren't there. And he has had to work very hard for everything he's gotten. He's only three for ten, one for five from beyond the arc. He has no assists. He has two turners. They have been all over him. Trammell's on him now. Bearstow... We'll look over the long reach of Parrish. Shulga slips it inside. Oh, knocked away a rope! Called foul. They did. Anken was inside, and a rope was in there defending. Butler, not a rope. So, Butler will pick up the foul. He has four. Anken at the free throw line. From the United Kingdom. Tonight on CBS begins with NCIS Los Angeles. Then SWAT. Then it's a new edition of 48 Hours. All tonight. All on CBS. Loose inside. Trammell's got it. Another rebound. And Utah State, which comes in as a 77% free throw shooting team, is 7 for 14 in this game. Rebounding advantage 10 now for the Aztecs. Bradley. Down low, Ladiz. Parrish, step back three. With a diving rebound inside, Ladiz. A big time offensive board. And that allows San Diego State to run more time yep. off the clock. Of course, the shot clock only resets to 20, but they're going to run it down as far as they can. Aztecs, one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country, and it is showed today. Bradley dancing, backpedal, long shot, missed it all. Whistles out of bounds and a shot caught violation. And now you're in a situation, if you're Utah State, not only do you have to score, but you have to score very quickly. And they've had a problem, Kevin, not only scoring quickly, but scoring at all. Butler and Seiko will check in. Bradley 
He'll check out with Trammell for the Aztecs. And they're going to go to Keisha Johnson checking in. He'll replace Ladee, who has been marvelous today. Ladee has uh, got nine rebounds, Dan, and 15 points. Prior to this game, the lowest point total for Utah State all season was 59. Isn't that something? They got 46 right now. Ashworth, hard pass. Second got it. That is a good pass inside. That little lob. And Ashworth gets the assist with full court pressure. Five-point game. But Johnson right here is the worst free-throw shooter on the court. When you're going to foul, he's the guy you got to foul. Here's Seiko. A rope. Atkin is on him. Running down that clock. Now in single digits at seven. Inside, oh, it's a nest of defenders. Johnson lost the ball. Nice defense in there by the Yankees, and they come charging the other way with Ashworth. He's got to go. Whatever you shoot, two or three, it's got to be fast. There's still. Ashworth will drive down the lane. It's a three-point game. Full court pressure again. Locked away. Well, it's, we're under two minutes, and so we're going to go over and look now to see who touched the ball last. Review. And the Aggies will get it down by three. When Brian Dutcher's guys caught the break with the bunk three-pointer being reversed, they took advantage. Now, let's see if Utah State can take advantage of this. Ashworth to inbound. In the corner, Funk for the tie. Rebound, lassoed inside. A rope. And quickly foul. 43 seconds to go. And a rope is a good guy to foul. He has not been to the free throw line that much this year. Only 15 out of 23. And that's 52%. One and one. Ashworth picked up his fourth personal foul. Kevin, I thought Funk was open. But that pass did not have a lot of steam on it. It bounced a couple of times going over it. That gave the defense time to react. And instead of an open three, Funk had to shoot a contested three. It's a rope at the line. And he's shooting one and one. And he's one for one today at the line. He has really played well off the bench. And, and the numbers aren't going to reflect it, but the eye test tells you yes. Well, he's he was got, huge. He's now got six points. He had seven rebounds. He blocked a shot. He was tremendous defensively. Again, that's a guy who's only been to the free throw line 23 times this year prior to that. Five-point game, 43 seconds to go, the second half. Kevin, the key elements there were the fact that Utah State has nine fouls, so the next foul they commit, San Diego State is going to go to the line for two, and the possession arrow favors San Diego State. Got to go. Two Ashworth. or three, doesn't matter, but it's got to be fast. Ashworth. Got the screen. Funk makes the fake. Ashworth will tee up a three. It's a two-point game with 30 seconds to go. Wow. San Diego basket goes in. The clock is supposed to stop. And it stops when the ball clears the net. So they put .3 seconds on. I think if you're Utah State, if you don't get a steal right away, you have to foul immediately. Bradley is in. Seiko is in. Full court pressure applied. Seiko. And I would foul him. He gets it to Parrish. And now Seiko. The collapse in the foul. And the foul goes on Idle Rock. RJ Idle Rock. It is his first foul. But it's the 10th team foul. 10th team foul. So Seiko, a 77% free throw shooter, goes to the line for two. No one has won more Mountain West Conference games than this kid. A record 114. In a game earlier this season with Utah State, he made six threes in the first half and finished with 25 in a game in January. And he gets that one to bobble in. And that was his first free throw of the night.
Some sharp shooters coming in, shooters coming in for the Yankees. San Diego State now, they don't want to get an over-the-back foul in this situation, so they're backing off. Again, you, you've got time, not a lot of times, so you've got to go very fast. Shulga into Seiko, lost his balance in the corner. Turnover! Turnover! And that's what happens sometimes when you're trying to go really fast. Full court pressure again. And San Diego State is obviously going to try to get the ball into their good free throw shooters. So a rope and Johnson are the two worst on the court. Seiko trying to get to Bradley, got it to a rope. And they uh, get him in a straight jacket, and he is fouled quickly. Well, we just talked about him. He was only 15 of 23, and then now he's 17 for 25. So, boy, that was a big turnover. The shooting today by these two teams. San Diego State has shot 33% from the floor. Utah State, 36%. Three-point shooting, 2 of 19 for the Aztecs, 4 of 22 for Utah State with a miss by a rope. Now, even had he made both of them, Kevin, it would still have been a two-possession game, and we're in a two-possession game right now. San Diego State applying the pressure. Five-point game. Here comes Ashworth. Utah State, no timeouts. That will be off inside. It's Bearstow who got the pass from Funk. Three-point game, 9.5 left. Almost have to get a steal. Two timeouts, San Diego State. None for the Aggies. Timeout taken by San Diego State with one remaining. Ryan Dutcher will talk it over with his San Diego State Aztecs. Take a one down. Lincoln is in front. 9.5 and a three-point game. Seiko can run the baseline. And he does. And he gets it off quickly to Parrish. And they quickly clamp onto him. And a second off the clock. A little more than a second off the clock. If that's on Akin, he's done. It's on Ashworth, and it's okay. number five. And he's done. Yes. Well, you, you have no choice in this situation. You have to foul immediately. You just don't have any time at all. And you would prefer Ashworth not be the guy to commit the foul because he's your best player. You need your him best offensive. Score. Yeah, exactly. Utah State. They won six titles as a member of the Big West Conference. They were in the Big West for 27 years. Then, from 06 to 2013, they were members of the Western Athletic Conference. They won two titles there in the eight-year membership they had there. Here, they have won two postseason titles in the ten years they have been in the Mountain West. They joined it in 2013. Parrish is at the line. He's a 78% free throw shooter. the big one. That was Dan four point game. Sixth consecutive year that San Diego State has made the championship game. And now it looks like they're circling over. 
Oh, Brian, Brian Dutcher wants these guys to move up and pressure, but they don't want to foul. Five-point game, Funk. Down, over, Bearstow, three, short, put up, and going in. That time by R.J. Idle Rock and 1.8 to go with a three-point San Diego State lead. And uh, clarify that call for us, Dan. Well, it's, he did reach across. He did grab him. It's a flagrant one foul. And so the penalty is two shots in the ball. As uh, Gene was confirming, and San Diego State is going to win a championship, not just for the regular season title, but also for the postseason title, the Mountain West Tournament champions as well. An impressive performance, Kevin. They really struggled to score in the first half for about the first 15 minutes of the first half. But the last 15 minutes, they got it rolling a little bit offensively, and they never let up with their defensive pressure. San Diego State down the stretch, 11-12, shooting from the free throw line. That's it. San Diego State. The tournament champions in the Wests in this terrific conference.